I would like to extend my thanks to my colleagues for their noticeable co cooperation and collaboration as we continue to work towards a comprehensive solution for Michigan drivers. You know, our system has been broken for far too long. It's a system that has punished drivers for factors outside of their control with no consequences. And we've had years to come up with a solution to get this right. And while I think the plan before us today is a start as we begin to march um, to get this thing done, I don't believe this bill goes far enough. We need to continue working together to fill the gaps that this plan leaves open. We haven't done enough to ensure the people of our communities aren't punished simply for where they live. And I, can, I believe I can offer a unique perspective in the legislature, but one that many people in our communities can share. That perspective is of a younger generation just entering adulthood. I speak for those who are still building credit, those who haven't completed their education, those without much of a driving history. We haven't done enough to ensure that they are set up for success. We haven't done enough to ensure they aren't penalized for their youth, something else outside their control. I also speak for those who may live in the wrong territory, to use a term from this bill. Yes, this legislation bans zip codes in determining rates, but it opens a whole new avenue of potential discrimination if we allow insurance companies to determine rates based on territories that can even be more precise than zip codes allowing yet another avenue for insurers to discriminate against our communities. Again, I would like to thank those that work tirelessly to ensure the failings of our auto insurance system were addressed in some kind of way. Many will support this legislation for the sake of progress we've made and continuing the conversation. But I, I believe we could and should do much better. You know, I feel myself changing. Uh, I was back there and uh, I, was just, I was just sitting there and I said to myself, I don't even laugh the same anymore. You know, I don't smile the same. Um, I don't even talk the same. And it's because I'm beginning to get fed up uh, with the way we operate around here. You know, we've got to do better, but I always ask myself, when are we going to do better? And loyalty is tested when times get rough. It means riding with you in the good times and still holding you down through the tough. I just urge you all to not let your loyalty become slavery. Know when to let go and not compromise on self-respect and your values. And is today the day to let go? That's a good question, right? And so here's a hollow moment for you all. In life, you don't get what you deserve, you get what you negotiate. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.